Hello YouTube, Flashlight Enthusiast here. Another email in today, same situation as the MS06W, so I borrowed this from my friend that is an email in fan and uh, he agreed to for me to test it and uh, review. So this is the R30C, the 9000 lumen email uh, pocketable design, very similar in case of size and uh, design to the well-known MS-03, as you can see, a little bit larger, but using same battery, same reflector design, and uh, obviously the philosophy, so pocket lumen monster. So without further ado, let's get started, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I got it uh, again without any package, so plain flashlight with the included battery, so let's just focus on that. So basically, when you take it to your hand, definitely you can feel the build quality. This is excellent premium quality from Imaland. The anodization is just perfect, smooth, uh, no sharp edges, and you can feel that this is uh, well machined and thought out. So, uh, in case of regretting engraving, we've got serial numbers, we've got some hot surface warning, <laughs> guess why? And obviously, the engraving of the model and the built in 21700 battery. Uh, but it can be removed. So uh, remembering the threads issue on the MS-03 and 6, this one is definitely improved. Everything works smooth because the threads are actually much more thicker. As you can see, the difference is definitely noticed here. Oh, wow. Why don't make it all from the beginning like that? I'm not sure, but uh, here is the spring. Uh, gold plated thick, creating low resistance. Very good job here, Emaland. And the included cell is actually identical as you, as I found on the MS03. So this is basically a USB-C rechargeable uh, 21700 cell. Probably Samsung 30T inside, but uh, cannot uh, confirm. Okay. So basically, the charging speed is at peak uh, around 1.4 amps. So after Two hours and 55 minutes the cell is fully charged, so pretty good rate, but uh, you can also stick this one in your charger uh, if it is long enough, because this cell is, is quite long. But luckily my Vapsel S4 Plus uh, accommodated this cell as I could charge it even faster with the 3 amps charging <laughs> speed. So very nice. And uh, the design is similar to the MSO3, this funnel shaped battery tube here. Let me just put the light here, as you can see. We've got the funnel shaped design, uh, battery tube, a little bit weird, but uh, we talked about it already in the MS-03 review, so I wouldn't just uh, focus on that right now. So let's just insert the battery. And if you're wondering whether you could use any other batteries, unfortunately no, because of the length uh, and uh, very short spring you cannot accommodate any other unprotected uh, 21700 other than this Imaland proprietary battery. Uh, so bear this in mind, okay? So coming back to the flashlight, uh, you've got a very weird looking switch and it rotates and creates this noise. I definitely don't like it. So as I was uh, have some reservations to the switch on the MSO3, that it rattles, uh, then here I have even more reservations to the switch because it rotates and creates those sticky eyes. Definitely don't like it. Uh, although the click is very pleasant, um, I would rather use the rubber one or just, uh, you know, the switch that does not create such noise. Oh, pity. That's pity. Uh, we've got two battery indicators. Uh, that's uh, something weird, but when you turn on the flashlight, we've got LEDs here and here, as you can see, and these work simultaneously. So um, basically indicating where the switch is not, because it is extremely hard to find in the dark, especially when you wear gloves and there is nothing on the other side. So yeah, just bear this in mind, okay? We've got lightly crenulated bezel here, which can be unscrewed as opposite to the MS-03, for example. So the design is definitely more user-friendly. And here is something that I would like to spend a little time on, because uh, we've got, obviously, uh, some 
premium American LEDs listed on the website. This is bullshit, guys. This is SST70 LEDs in cool white, but bear in mind that uh, the cool white LEDs um, usually will leave you with disgust. But these, these babies here have very pleasant beam to your eyes. Obviously slightly greenish as all SST 20s, 40s and even 70s do, but uh, in the terrain, in the open space, this creates very pleasant uh, feeling. Almost like neutral white ones, which is very uh, interesting and fantastic. So slightly orange peel reflectors here, quite deep, I have to say. Look at the MSO3 difference. So here it is almost double the depth. Very good. Uh, and as Imolent states on the website, it is still designed for throw, pocketable thrower, uh, and also a Lumen Monster. So I think it uh, plays the role quite well. Very good. Okay, so let's just go through the UI real quick. So three clicks again for the lowest output, which is very weird. And then cycle through one, two, three, four, five modes. Okay, so similar to the MS-06. So we've got the low, middle low, middle one, middle two, high, and then low again. Double tap for turbo mode, double tap again for stroke mode. And that's basically it. Okay, so here are my measurements of the output. As you can see, we've got 145 lumens in low, then 663 in middle low, 1185 in middle one, 2010 in middle two, 5000 in high, and uh, 7440 lumens at turn on in the turbo mode. So a little bit differing from the manufacturer level, but the still quite quite close except for the turbo mode obviously uh, but the performance is still quite good so uh, let's show you the runtime graphs real quick so here is the turbo output 7580 lumens measured at start uh, here obviously uh, as almost in all MLS the step down occurs right away not to overheat this small compact body so uh, it happens in two steps one step and then the second one, uh, all at the car over the course of 77 seconds, to around 1,344 lumens level. So very, very conservative output uh, after the step down. But the flashlight did achieve 60 degrees after all. So uh, after the stabilizing uh, the output after the step down, it slowly decreased the brightness over the course of one hour. Uh, here is the high mode. Uh, here I measured 5,000 lumens sharply and uh, the step down occurs right from the start uh, again in two steps after 77 seconds uh, again we've got uh, 1,273 lumen level so a little bit lower than the turbo mode but still uh, very close to it and uh, after stabilizing the output it slowly decreased the brightness over the course of one hour again and the body achieved 62 degrees Celsius and now the medium two mode and so here uh, I measured 2010 lumens and theoretically uh, it should be around 2300 lumens for over one hour 15 minutes but again in my conditions somehow uh, in room temperature the flashlight wasn't able to sustain this uh, flat output but rather have two step downs so first one after three minutes and 56 seconds to around 1390 lumens and then after 10 minutes uh, we've got uh, another step down to 1150 lumens and uh, when the 60 degrees uh, body temperature was achieved and then it increased even more for the 62 degrees Celsius. So as you can see the performance is quite good but uh, it could be a little bit better but it is pretty similar to other imlines that I reviewed so I wouldn't say that it is something that surprised me a lot okay. Uh, so let's just go to the forest with this ultra compact surge lumen monster and show you the beam shots. And now the Imoland R30C. So this is the ultra low, middle low, middle one, middle two, high, 
and turbo. Not a huge bright brightness increase between the high and turbo mode, but still very impressive output. For such a compact flashlight, look at the angle here. This is not the MS-03, MS-06 angle, but you've got nice hotspot here. So definitely a Lumen Monster pocket thrower uh, once you hit the turbo output. And the beam is quite pleasant for your eyes. I have to tell you that uh, this is definitely not a cool white typical beam from Emoland, but rather something between the neutral white and uh, cool white. You can obviously tell that the output is quickly decreasing so there's no turbo mode anymore but uh, we can try to reset it so I hit once and then twice and now we've got turbo mode again nice that you can reset it until obviously the temperature is not too high because as you may probably see here we already got the red LED indicating that either the temperature is high or the voltage of the battery is dropping so no fireworks here, obviously there are some limitations by physics and the flashlight size, so brightness dropping massively and now maybe we can double tap, go out in the straw pole, double tap again and we've got the turbo, nice and bright, I like that, definitely useful beam pattern, if only the brightness did not drop that quickly. Okay, and that's probably it. Alright, let's sum it up guys. Uh, pretty similar conclusion as with the Immolent MS-06W that I reviewed recently on my channel. So basically, very nice looking premium design, perfectly made, but there is some luck in performance. So basically, uh, this is very good uh, pocket thrower and lumen monster at the same time, uh, but you have to be aware of some of these limitations. So basically when you double tap for turbo mode it is only for like momentary illumination and then it steps down pretty quickly uh, instantly, okay? And the mode advancement, advancement is quite slow as with MS-06 so if you're left in the dark and you would like to slowly increase the output maybe it's okay but if you'd like to fast increase the brightness and don't want to hit turbo mode because it just stepped down and the flashlight is hot, then you have to wait quite a long time to increase from like low to middle two. Uh, the third thing is that you cannot use any other batteries than the Immolent provided proprietary 21700 cell, but this is not a huge disadvantage for me because you can charge it pretty quickly. But uh, the other thing is that uh, there's no flat stabilization and for such price Immolent should really push their drivers uh, to achieve flat stabilization like Ace Beam can in their models, it will be very much appreciated by enthusiasts like me. So uh, apart from that, pretty nice flashlight, um, but uh, I believe there are some uh, better constructions on the market unless you have to have, you know, the extra power in such a compact body, then obviously go for Imalent because they are best at it. But if you're looking for, you know, the pocket monster, but with some stabilization that may be um, better for UI, then I'm afraid the Imalent is not for you guys. So these are my thoughts on the Imalent R30C model. And uh, well, I hope I answer all your questions regarding this, this model. Uh, I like it, but uh, well, I have some reservations. Obviously the switch. Oh, oh, the switch. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more videos to come and to support the algorithm of my channel. If you're watching this Immolent, I hope you have some conclusions from this video and I hope I can review more of your products uh, in the future. So guys, stay safe, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.